Welcome, my name is Bruce Swanson and in this short video I'd like to show you an example of using Test and Shell to make design edits. Engineering change orders can sometimes come up at the very end of the development cycle. In some cases it may be too late to go back through the whole flow of editing an RTL and then resynthesizing. Test and Shell allows for design editing in both RTL and gate level designs. Let's work through an example. Suppose a mandate comes down right before tape out that all D flip flops without reset pins must be changed to a DFF model that does have a reset pin. And all of these pins will connect to a new top level master reset port. Here's an example design schematic of a small hierarchical design with three levels of hierarchy. There is one flip flop in the design that does have a reset pin. But there are several more flip-flops that do not have reset pins. Let's use Test and Shell to edit this design as specified. Well here's an example script to accomplish what we need to do. After we've set the correct context and read in the design files, it finds all of the standard DFF instances and replaces them. Then it creates a top-level master reset port and connects it to all the new DFF reset pins. I'd like to point out that all of these are standard test and shell tool commands. There's no special scripting going on. Well, let's see it in action. All right, here we have a standard Linux shell on the left, and on the right is a do file containing all of the commands that we want to execute. So I'm just going to start by invoking test and shell. And rather than show you a bunch of my typos, I'm going to simply copy and paste the commands into the session. So first thing we do is set our context and then read in the design files and get in the right system mode. Then we create a collection of all of the DFF instances currently in the design. Then we're going to replace those with a new module from the library that has the DFF with the reset pin on it. Next we're going to create another collection and this will be of the reset pins on those instances we just replaced. At the top level, we're going to create a new input port called Master Reset. And then simply connect that new port to all of the reset pins from the collection we had just created. So now we're done. All we need to do is write out our design with these changes, and we're ready to go. To see the design changes in the DFT Visualizer, we'll go back to System Mode Setup and open the Visualizer tool. Let's go ahead and open the design window. Start by adding the master reset port. And once we have that, we can simply trace forward through the fan out. You can see here it connects the two flip flops at the top level. And then down under the instances here with hierarchy in them, we can trace down some more. Two more found at that level. And under this next level, we also have one remaining. And then the last one is found under this other instance with hierarchy. So we trace down and find that one. So here we go. If we zoom out, we can show that we have now connected the master reset port to the six different instances throughout all levels of hierarchy. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about the design introspection and design editing in Tess and Shell. If you'd like more information, please contact your local Mentor Graphics representative.